Hi, it's Clark and Emily on Sailing Vessel Temptress. And this is our March 2019 Adventure Log. We're still in Georgetown, <laughs> where we've been for a long time. Um, we're still at the same anchorage. Uh -huh. We've been for a long time, and we have it all to ourselves because everybody's left. Yeah, regatta's over. Uh, there are fewer boats here, and it's back to the culture that we kind of like. Yep, and uh, the weather's been pretty, pretty good. Uh huh. Uh, fewer and fewer fronts, and it, the weather is just—it's just nice. Yeah, it's what we expect in the Bahamas. So. All good there. Yeah, the early season, we get to the fronts that come in for the United States, and they're cold and they're windy. And now, the forecast: the highest winds coming up are like 15, 16 knots. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, we'll be it's just pleasant days. And swimming and yeah, all those things. Yeah, back to that kind of thing. Let's see what happened this month. What well, have we done? General updates: uh, I'm still on track to be done with my business at the end of the of the month of June. Actually, I think I'm going to be done at the end of April, mm -hmm. maybe maybe a, a week, give or take, but I'm closing everything up pretty early, and uh, so that's going pretty well. Yep. We talked to the people in Africa. It looks like it might end up being a multi-country speaking tour, uh, but it's been changed, and this really helps us out a lot. It's been changed to September, so we can uh, extend our cruising season this year, like, you know, to where we normally do, getting back in Florida in July and uh, spend the summer getting the boat ready. And I'm more of a get the work done before you play type guy. So I'd rather have Temptress ready for Colombia and Central America before we go to Africa. And mm -hmm. that's how it's gonna work out. Mm -hmm. Do we know where we're gonna put the boat when we get back to Florida? Uh, we don't really know. We're still looking for a place. If anybody's got a house on East Coast of Florida with a, a, a canal that would like to have a beautiful yeah. boat in their front yard. Deep water access. <laughs> Deep water access and no bridges. <laughs> yeah, that's our problem is our mass is really tall. So yeah. we can't get a lot of places that people with shorter masts can get. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find something, but you know, if you've got a great place and if it's not expensive, eh, send us a comment, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. So our cruising season is extended. Um, we have an update on our shark, shark that's huh? been uh, photo bombing or not photo bombing our videos <laughs> for the past few months because we've never gotten them on camera, but it turns out it's not a shark. It's a manta ray. Yeah, we do have the spinner sharks. We've seen them in here. But there's this huge manta ray, and he jumps out of the water and makes, you know, he's a manta ray. He makes a huge splash. Yeah, we got to watch him a while ago. We didn't film it because, well, he was just too beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want to go down and get a camera. But we have a camera set up right back there. Yeah. So if anything happens, hopefully we'll get it on camera today. <laughs> but anyway, it's a manta ray. Yeah, he did jump earlier just before we set up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should have got up earlier. Uh, and then other updates, well, you've been seeing all the videos we've been putting out. We've got a new series of question and answer videos. We've released two of those, I think, already. Yeah, thanks for sending in all the, the questions. We started filming them. Uh, we've uh, filmed more than you've probably seen. We're putting the, them on Patreon only for a while so that we, well, you know, if we get behind, we'll, we'll make sure we always have something coming out every week. Mm-hmm. And we've been getting lots of great feedback from cruisers here and from people online about the financial series videos that we've just done. We're just about to release the third part of the trio of videos that we're releasing first. So those have been going really well. Yep. And that'll free us up to do more real sailing things. I think maybe dinghies is next. Yep. We have some, we've been interviewing people around Georgetown about their dinghies and what they like and what they don't like as we're preparing to buy our next dinghy and mm -hmm. build a dinghy. So um, <laughs> the anchoring video we did back in November, December, we're going to do a more elaborate video like that on dinghy so that'll uh -huh. come out maybe not this month but soon yeah so those are kind of our general updates sure uh let's see uh that's about it tell us about the budget emily how did budget. our month go uh every month we try to spend uh roughly between 500 to a thousand dollars every month to keep us on task and uh this was both our most expensive almost and least expensive month so far <laughs> um because our regular expenses were about 527 dollars for food and fuel and those sorts of things mm -hmm. but we had one big expense this month and that was our cruising permit um every year we have to get a cruising permit permit for Temptress to uh, get the boat legal in the Bahamas and that expired at the beginning of this month so we renewed that and that was five hundred dollars other than that we had two hundred eighty seven dollars on food we had ninety eight bucks on restaurants we had eighty four dollars internet we had thirty three in fuel and a couple other miscellaneous expenses so still in our range of five hundred to a thousand dollars total one thousand twenty seven uh-huh 
Um, we've uh, done a few projects this month. Uh, very few. I think I've been a little lazy this month. Mm -hmm. Well, you've been helping other people. <laughs> it's always that. Um, but I put in a few new deck boards. Um, you probably can see how bad our decks look or you've seen it in other videos. Um, we're replacing the teak bit by bit. I've got a whole bunch milled up. So we did a little of that and uh, <laughs> I've been trying to keep the light bar alive. We have this light bar. We needed it for filming inside for the financial videos. And I had an old gas can and I cut it up and put some LED lights on and rigged a dimmer. And it, it works when it works, but it's fragile. Uh -huh. So uh, we're really looking forward to getting back to the States. Uh, you just can't get things into the Bahamas. They cost an arm and a leg for customs and the hassle is just unbelievable. So when we get back, uh, the patrons have been really helping us out. One guy in particular has made a, a significant contribution uh, that uh, it's gonna go to a new camera. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna make our life so much easier as well. Uh, we're using very old, non-video equipment kind of making it work mm -hmm. clark has done surgery on this camera the one we're looking at right now at least twice this yeah year, well. trying to fix various <laughs> things but yeah we're looking forward to getting back to the states and buying some new decent equipment for youtube because it's becoming a pretty you know central part of yeah, what we're yeah. doing out here and how we're staying in touch with family and friends and all you new friends out there too mm -hmm. Let's see, the other activities this month include, well, we did an open mic night again. Mm -hmm. um, and we recorded it. Uh, oh, yeah. A lot of people requested that we record the open mic night because they were interested in the music down here. It's on Patreon. It's like two hours long. So we didn't want to put it on our regular channel because um, I don't think it would appeal <laughs> to everybody. But again, uh, our patrons have access to it yeah. on Patreon. So there's that. It's just a dollar once and you get to see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the trivia is still there too from last month. So just uh, longer... More boring. I think a, a lot of our subscribers would see a two hour video and just, oh, Emily's not in the beginning of it. I'm out of here and uh, I don't want that. I don't want just unsubscribing. I want you to see the other stuff. And mm -hmm. I know we're being a little remiss on the sailing videos. We're going to get back into that. But we just needed a certain ground state of the financial one so that we have things to reference. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um, other than that, uh, we did some more music for St. Patrick's Day this month. Our friend, um, if you watched our January log, you know that our friend Kelly, who lived ashore here, uh, passed away in January. And he started this tradition of playing music on St. Patrick's Day every year. So we continued that this year. That's a guy named Kelly should. Yes, of course. <laughs> um, so that was a lot of fun. Uh -huh. And um, what else did we do? This well, <laughs> there's the weird thing. I have a condition. Uh, I have like way too many red blood cells and doctors have suggested that I should donate blood every three months because it kind of thins them out and it's a little more healthful for me. And it's really good for the people getting the blood because they get a lot of red blood cells. Well, you can't donate blood out here. There's just mm -hmm. no way to do it. So we rigged up some stuff and Emily took a pint of blood out of my arm. I did. <laughs> We're really DIY. Yeah. <laughs> We got each other's hair, yeah. we drain each other's blood. It involved aquarium tubing and a, a mason jar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we poured it over the side and the fish came and they were looking yes. for what was bleeding. They couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. But So anyway, that's <laughs> something weird about this. Blood movie. in the water is surprisingly red. It really is. It's like more so than a horror movie. Yeah. In yeah. the bright sun. It didn't look real. <laughs> anyway, also... We got to see a really cool dinghy this month. As I said, we were doing those dinghy interviews and we met somebody on a boat called Bolero mm -hmm. and he has designed a new, um, what would you call it? It's a folding, it's a, a catamaran, folding catamaran dinghy. Yeah. Um, and so there's a, we'll put that video up on Patreon with all the other dinghy interviews we do until we uh, release the big uh, dinghy right. um, video, but it's called an Aquanaut boat. If you want to go with an electric motor on your dinghy, this is the dinghy you want. I'm absolutely convinced. Not for us. Mm -hmm. We want to build a plane and we're going to have a secondary dinghy. And, but if you wanted to go electric, this thing is faster and uses less power than any of the other mm -hmm. choices. It's It's got everything going for it. It's just you can't slap a great, we can, can slap a big motor on it. It carries the motor. It just mm -hmm. won't go very fast. Yeah. So uh, it's really unique and he's going to work out a sailing rig for it. it. It could be a really cool dinghy. Yeah, check it out. Um, it was nice. He came and spent a morning on our boat telling us all about it and we got good footage. So thanks Bolero uh -huh. uh, for that and we'll share that with you soon. Um, You've been doing art stuff? 
art stuff. There's an art trail on Stocking Island, and um, every once in a while, cruisers add new installations or paintings to the art trail. So uh, we're actually heading over there today with our friend Chris on Atlas uh -huh. uh, to put some more art up there. And uh, something we decided to do, we hit uh, 10 patrons this month on Patreon. <laughs> and to say thank you to those people, we're going to choose somebody at random, and we're going to make a little plaque. I'll paint something up with some beech wood, and we're going to put your name on the trail um, so that if you ever come down to the Bahamas, you can go see it uh -huh. uh, and it's our way of kind of saying thank you to you patrons we'll find some gorgeous place that's out of the way uh, and it started out being driftwood so this is already in the environment mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and uh, we'll give you the latitude and longitude so you can look it up on Google Earth you won't be able to see it or anything but uh, you'll know exactly where it is and Unless it'll be your we do little it spot on the ground in an open area. <laughs> Google Earth is up to. Yeah, I don't think they're high res, but I don't think they're that high. We'll res. take a picture. And yeah, we'll that, that we do that. Of course. There we go. <laughs> So, yeah, that's, I think, yeah. what we've been doing for activities. Yeah, are we going to do it just plain old, every patron gets one vote or per dollar? No, I think let's just equal. Okay. What do you think? I don't know. We'll I don't know. I think one dollar's fair. Okay, so uh -huh. you get entered once. It's for like every buying dollar. more raffle tickets. All right. <laughs> it's not like it changes anybody's life. This All is right. just a fun thing. It's just fun. <laughs> All right, um, worst part of this month? You know, we wrote this up ahead of time, of course, and there was no worst part of this month. It's been a pretty darn good month. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it hasn't been like stellar, crazy, wonderful, but it hasn't been bad either. Like everything's going pretty well. Yeah, we're so boring. <laughs> <laughs> but the best part for me was regatta's over. I'm not a big fan of Georgetown during regatta. There's just so many people here and the stress levels are higher. It's like it's kind of like people on vacation where they have to have fun. Where normally there's plenty of people, lots of friends around, and we have time to do things and have dinner together. And it's it's just a little more laid back now. It's more my style. Yeah, a little more relaxed. So I guess that's the best part. And on the intentional living front, mm -hmm. um, as I said, I'm kind of rebalancing work. And I've found that as I'm letting go of work, I'm grabbing onto all these other commitments and mm -hmm. grabbing onto more YouTube stuff. And uh, I'm trying to just kind of clear some more space to just be a human being instead of a human <laughs> doing. Uh, so we're doing that this month. And uh, now that the weather's nicer, I think we're going to be getting out, doing more kayaking, more diving, uh -huh. um, getting in a little better shape. We've gotten a little bit yeah. lazy and we'll start our low carb, high fat. Yeah, we do the diet. ketosis thing every now and again and we've been so not ketosis the last few months. Yes, bread is good. So uh, we just provisioned up a lot of meat and fats and uh, we're going back on the ketosis thing. Yep. Or at least low yeah. carb. Yeah. So so that's what we're doing this month. And I think that's about it. That's about it. Yeah, kind of a short update this month. But uh, thanks for following along on our adventures. Let us know if you have questions. We'll continue to put out other videos on a variety of uh, topics. Uh -huh. Like this video. Share this video. Subscribe. And Thank thanks you, patrons. so much for the patrons. Mm -hmm. uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, when we get back to the States... Uh, and we can get the good equipment, we're going to be able to upgrade, uh, bring up our game a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, thanks to you guys. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Stay tuned. Let us know how you're doing out there, um, <laughs> all of our friends and, and folks following along, and we'll talk to you next month. Send in your questions. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.